again, everyone. It's a privilege to welcome you all back to Dartmoor. Oh, it's, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. And I've got a nice little video planned for this evening. So we're in the uh, Ditsworthy Warren area. It's actually the farmhouse itself. It's just below Hentor over there. It's a bit breezy, but in this evening's video, we're gonna be making some hot chocolate, crossing the river, and I'm hopefully gonna be getting a photo for next year's calendar. But before that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down the path and we're gonna just check out this way we Warren before we cross the river, Plim. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this evening's video. It feels like it's gonna be a good one. What the main aspect of today's video is gonna be about is just getting out and enjoying it, being out in some really nice landscape here on Dartmoor. So yeah, let's crack on. Okay everyone, so welcome to Ditsu Ivy Warren Farm. Now, it's only a fleeting visit, and I'll tell you what, as I was walking, I was thinking to myself, I've not seen many different photos of the farm itself. So for this evening, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be heading over that way, across the river plim, to be getting a much new, different angle, and I'm hoping it's gonna make a nice image for my next calendar. But for the moment, a bit of history about the farm itself. So it was made in the 18th century and was originally part of the Ditsworthy farm area. And then in the 19th century, it um, housed the farmer, let's say, of the nearby Rabbit Warren, which is just over there. I'll show you a quick video. And yeah, unfortunately, we're not allowed in. You used to be able to, but the landowner has now made it private land. So unfortunately, not to be, but I have grabbed a few nice photos, so I'll show you that, that after I finished speaking. But yes, really nice area. I've not been here before. Just nice to be back, enjoying it, taking it in. So yeah, I'm going to head that way now, down to the river, and I hope you like some of the photos I've got. For my first composition, I went for a nice wide angle photo and by stepping away from the farmhouse itself, I was able to include the large trees, farmhouse walls, and you may just be able to see Hentel in between two of the trees as well. Overall, a really nice photo with the top and bottom balanced with clouds, rocks and grass, leaving my main subject prominent in the middle of the frame. For this photo, I really wanted to include different patterns in the boundary wall. By converting the image to black and white, it helped bring out the grooves and patterns not only on the wall, but the farmhouse itself. By taking it in black and white, I think it helps describe the oldness of the scene compared to the coloured version. On we go. Right, so I've made it down here now to the River Plim. Where I want to take this evening's photo is up over that hill. To get over there, I've of course got across the river. It's looking a bit deep, so I'm going to make sure to use a tripod leg just to check where the depth is to make sure it's not too deep. But I'm also going to have to take off the new hiking boots and I'm going to have to put the trousers up and hope I don't fall in or something like that. But yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> well, here we go. Shoes are off, tripod leg I'm using. Let's go. It's not too cold either. That's always a good thing. Right, let's check. Just making sure to try and stand on a few big rocks, like so. Oh, this is not bad. Oh wait, my trouser leg, oh no. Shambles. Right. Watch my footing. There we go. Right leg's starting to come down now. I think though, we are good. Ha <laughs> ha! 
successful. Fantastic. Right. Shoes back on. Dry off my legs. And we'll go and take that photo. Right then, river crossing has been conquered. And now, if I just move this way a bit and I adjust the camera, you should be able to see Ditsworthy Warren over there. He got gutter tour where we started today's video in the middle. But the key to this photo I'm about to take is elevation, good, clear visibility. And you know, I think we'll find out in a minute what the rest are, because I want to try and hopefully be that bit of cloud. Let's go. And here we go, we've made it to this evening's photography destination. This Wavy Warren is just over that way. You can see most of the tours of Dartmoor. Well, I just want to make out quickly what a fantastic evening. It is proper lovely, proper good to be back. I think the sun might just disappear for a bit, but you know, there's a thin gap of brightness on the horizon. So even though we might lose it now, we should get it to briefly come out before it sets for the day. Right, let me talk you through this composition. And so exactly three miles later, my composition for this evening's video is all set up nicely. Straight away, you'll be able to tell the sun has now disappeared. But of course, me being the photographer, I have managed to get a photo, which quite possibly could be indeed the main image. But you know, I'm feeling pretty optimistic that sun will appear as it just Oh, that's, how, how would I word it? It's just going to balance on the horizon and the hills and hopefully portray some really nice sunshine on the landscape here. But for now, I'm going to talk you through my composition. Okay, everyone, so here's my composition and I'm sure you'll be able to tell already it's a really nice Dartmoor scene and hopefully one well, you might not have seen already. So we have this YV Warren placed just there and you'll be able to tell that I'm just making sure it's not covered by any of the pine trees surrounding it. And then with my Dartmoor images, I really like to capture the whole scene. And by doing that with this evening's photo, I'm getting Levator there, Sharpator there. We have, I believe that will be Cox Tour, just there. We have Great Staple Tour, and then we have Rouge Tour. Albeit, you know, I think when the sun was out, it was a really nice image. I'm just keeping my eye on that way. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's a really nice image. I'm really glad I've come out and got it. I've been wanting to take it for a while. You know, even if we don't get the sunlight, of course, I managed to get one a minute ago. I believe it was shot at 125th of a second, F13. Now, F13, that was to make sure that even though I was focusing in on Ditswave Warren itself to get good detail in the background where the tours are out the back. Yeah, you know, it's looking good. Nice evening. I want to try and quickly make some hot chocolate. Leave the camera as it is. But for now, I hope you like this photo. Thank you. 
And so I hope you liked that photo, everyone. And we're gonna get right into making a hot chocolate. I have indeed invested in a mini stove. And so we're gonna crack on to making a hot chocolate. Well, this ain't bad, hey. My water has now boiled for a hot chocolate, but before that, the sun has made that appearance on the horizon. Now, it's not really painting a nice bit of sunshine on the landscape. So now my attention is gonna to turn to finding composition. Just that way, I'm gonna take another photo. The hot chocolate is gonna to have to wait. Right then. Tension turns to finding the composition this way. Straight away, those sun rays peeking out through that top layer of cloud look really nice. It's just a nice sunset all together. Let me try and capture that. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a different composition. Let's say that. You know, there's not much foreground interest, but I'm just trying to include that little tour on the left. Yeah, it's just, it's nice to be back. I know I've probably already said it, but nice to be back. Nice photo of the sunset. Grab a few more. Just gonna zoom in and out. I've got the telephoto lens on, the uh, 75 to 300. Yeah. Get a nice few variations. That one's quite nice. Yeah. Let me take them and I'll uh, show you them now. And so the sun is now well and truly setting on the horizon behind me. I've got my hot chocolate, got my cup, hot water, freshly brewed from the uh, new stove. The problem I've got is I don't have a spoon to spin the uh, hot chocolate. So if I pour some in, whoa. There we go, that, that might be maybe a bit too much. <laughs> There we go. And I need to find something in the bag really quickly, because it's gonna get dark, to stir the hot chocolate. Well, I'll tell you what, it's certainly starting to get cold now. So I've put my hat on. I'm using a lens cleaning pen. Let's hope this works, because it might not. Right, first of all, do that. Hot water in. Looking good. Let's give it a go. Oh, I feel, I feel an absolute nutter doing this right now. An absolute nutter. Only on Dartmoor. Only on Dartmoor. Yeah, the sheep is agreeing with me, I'm telling you. Well, I'll tell you what, that wasn't bad at all. A good, fast, hot chocolate here on Dartmoor. And you know what, I might not have the regular size cookies, but I do have. I need to unwrap them now. There we go. Like a Christmas present, this is. There we go. Mini ones. Well, I tell you what, a cookie always tastes best when you're eating it with a fantastic view, like right now, out here on Dartmoor. The sky has just got a bit of orange above us, but it is starting to get dark, so I am gonna end the video here. Really nice evening. It's been fantastic to be back out here. Hopefully that photo that I took of Ditswabi Warren in the sunshine might make it into my next calendar. I'm not too sure at the minute, but you never know, especially when you get home. Yeah, put a bit of saturation in it and it looks fantastic. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini adventure. Uh, we're gonna be back here, out here now for 
quite a few months, so it's looking really good on the horizon. Yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Whoa, Hopefully, whoa, whoa, wait a I'll sec there, Tom. Soon. You've forgotten one thing. I'm walking back down the hill and I'm thinking to myself, what am I gonna have for tea when I get home? I completely forgot the fact that I now have to recross the river in the dark. This is gonna be some experience to say the least. Right then, shoes off, trousers up, and we're gonna cross it again. Well, everyone, in a minute, I'm gonna get back to the car. My mum's gonna go, Tom, how come you were late again? I'm gonna have to say to her, look, I forgot I had to cross the river. Well, in the dark as well. That's a wet sock there. Good job I'm heading home. Right, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna cross this together. It's time to go. So when I crossed it earlier, I noticed that the slight bit to the left was a lot less deeper. And there was a lot less um, bigger rocks. Don't know why I'm stopping mid-river. Oh, there's some experience. Ready? <laughs> oh, what a nutter, hey. What a nutter. There we go. Easy going. Lovely stuff. Oh, dry land. I'm back. <laughs> well, sorry about that. I uh, accidentally moved the flashlight towards the lens on that last bit of video. But what I was going to say was thank you very much for watching today's video. I've really enjoyed being out here. It's been really good and I really hope you've enjoyed it as well. Hope you liked the photos also. But yeah, right, properly signing out now. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Hopefully, I'll see you all soon. Feel free to like and subscribe also. But for now, hopefully, I don't get scared by any cows. I'm not a fan of cows. I'm not even more a fan of cows in the dark. Whoa. As you see this video, everything went swimmingly. Let's go. I already put my shoes back on. Oh, maybe not. I need to put... <laughs> see you later, everyone. <laughs>